Okay, this is it. The start of our trip. Can you believe it? Finally. Good morning from the southernmost point of the United States. We are so excited to be here. Almost two years of planning has gone into this. And today is the day we begin our journey from the southernmost point in Key West, Florida, all the way to the Arctic Circle. I hope you join our journey because we are so excited to be here. YouTubing. So here's what we thought we would do. We are going to, for you newcomers, we're going to take a minute and tell you about us and about Herky. So, so that way you don't have to go back to the beginning because it's a little painful to go back and watch some of those videos. So anyway, here we go. So we have been married this June 19th 40 years. We have two children. We have Martha and she is married to Phil. They live in Mason, Ohio. They have three kids, Joe 13, Abby 11, Eli 7. Then we have Eddie and his wife, Sarah, who live now in Costa Rica. And they have three children, Louis, three, Ellie, two and, uh, one and a half, and Asa, four months old. I'm glad I let her do all that stuff because I can't remember all those ages. <laughs> So anyway, we are on a journey from Key West, which uh, we are at right now, and we are gonna head to the Arctic Circle. We should be back in Indiana sometime in October, which Indiana, by the way, is where we make our home. We have lived there 28 years. We were both born and raised in Missouri along the Mississippi River, so the river and the railroad is very near and dear to our hearts. As you know, the railroad runs along the Mississippi, Mississippi river. river. So that brings me to another point of how Hanging with Herky is named because I grew up in Herculaneum and we named Herky Herky after Herculaneum. There you have it. That's the whole lowdown on us. There's a lot of people ask, are we retired? We don't know. Well, we quit work October 1st, 2021. So we'll just see what happens after we hit the Arctic Circle. Because you know, you can't do an adventure and be working at the same time. No, it can't be done, I don't think. So we're gonna, we're gonna take this time. Not the job Ed had. <laughs> We're going to take this time and uh, go do that. Then we'll make that decision in about a year. But uh, for now, on to adventures. We decided to show you the inside of the van and the camper here at our boondocking site because, as you know, yesterday was extremely loud down in Key West. So this is going to be easier. Today here. is a new day. Yes, it is. So we want to start by showing you one of the things that we collect along the way and that would be stickers and we have on the back of the van we get new cups for different travels and put them on there and we have a board in the camp in the van so we'll show you all that anyway the biggest collection is on the back of this tree one of the most popular questions is what kind of camper do we have we have a 2016 runaway camper range runner uh, these are built in Ocala, Florida, and I would recommend if you have questions about the camper itself that you just go to their website, runawaycampers.com. And uh, we do not sell. We them. don't sell these campers, but people have a lot of questions about this. So the platform is it's a six by eight, and uh, it weighs uh, just under a thousand pounds. Unloaded. Although, <laughs> unloaded. Although the new models the, that they produce now are composite and they weigh much less. So they started in 20 or 21? Mm -hmm. 20? Yep. yep. Yeah. So uh, Nancy's going to go inside and show you what it looks like inside. Then I'll walk you around the out. Inside is not fancy like some of them we have shown you at the rallies. This is set up for traveling. Uh, we do very little long-term camping we do do it but we mainly are on the road so convenience is what we're going for so if we don't have electric we have the little fairy lights here and back here for me 
all of our things are up here in these little storage thing and there's a lip here so nothing slides out which is a good thing so since we have the van ed has his clothes and the things he needs to get ready for the day in the van and i have my stuff in here these are my uh closet if you will and then this here has like um basic things um our medicine movies um baby wipes things like that and one little feature we have is this right here it's called a marcel it lets us know when we leave Herky in here if he's too hot or too cold if the electric is disconnected which would mean somebody's taking it anyway so we have that and that gives us peace of mind when we do leave Herky which isn't very often but sometimes we do back here we have our television we don't watch a lot of TV but um, when we do it's usually movies and things like that and then back here hanging up is what I call my nightstand. That's things I need when we're just lounging in the trailer or we're asleep or whatever. So I don't have to crawl over Ed all the time. And yes, I do love Eeyore. Um, then our next little gadget is the monitor. And I'm gonna let Ed tell you about One that. One of the things we have in the in the camper for security because once you get in here unless you peek out the window it's hard to see is we have this thing right here called a halo view and there's a cam camera mounted uh, on the van that shows that the shines back of the camper so we can see for security reasons uh, anything that's going around uh, if we're boondocking or anything like that so that's um, that's one of the features we really like and uh, I recommend uh, getting them if you get a chance to. Our tow vehicle, the van itself, is a 1999 Astro van. It has a 4.3 liter Vortex engine in it. And right now it has 175,000 miles on it. And uh, it's still going strong, burns no oil, runs great. I did, just for good measure, before this trip, I put a new transmission in here just uh, just in case although it appeared there was nothing wrong with the other transmission uh, when I bought the van it had uh, been it was being used as a chicken coop they were raising chickens in it honestly it started right up and I drove it three hours home so uh, it's a good solid van it has no rust we did do a lot of work on it though we uh, have replaced all the suspension the ball joints the steering box i mean everything external to the engine has been replaced so uh, we feel confident that this is going to be suitable for us to make our journey although we're not foolish, foolish enough to believe that we won't have problems we will probably have to repair a few things along the way but i'm mechanical and we're good with that you know we've been gone almost a month so and we have to have so much more stuff seems like this trip anyway so we have this is our phone booster I'm not sure what that does I'm sure Ed could explain it better but anyway it helps me to be able to FaceTime my grandkids and that's all I need to know so we have like all of our little um, charger things we have a light here for setup if we, you know, when we are someplace. We have walkie talkies, and that helps us when Ed is backing up. Excuse Herky, he likes to scratch the seat. Anyway, we have the walkie talkies because when we're backing up, Ed just turns one on, lays it on the dash, and I talk him back. And um, then we have like our shower shoes, things like that right at the door, so we just, open up get it the lighter for the fire and yes I have a plant with us that when we're set up it hangs on the awning because you have to have a little touches of home every now and then our bath towels we keep up here and we finally went to <coughs> hey are you done we're filming here we went to microfiber because they uh, dry faster. And then this is my blanket here 
because Ed keeps it really cold in here. So anyway, when we're traveling. These are our books that we need, travel books. This is Herky's drawer. Under here, are, under here is our, um, oh, Herky's treats. If you have a dog, he loves these treats. So you might want to try these. Anyway, our hiking shoes stay here because you know sometimes we're out someplace and Ed wants to take a hike and I've got my flip flops on. So now I can always grab my shoes. So here we have all of the things that we need for Herky. We have um, a tub under the bed in the camper for his stuff. And then we also have it in here too. His bowl, his food, some toys, brush, treats, um, sweatshirt, even though he doesn't really need it. But you never know. He might need it someday. And this is not going in because my plastic bag was holding it back. Anyway, so then, and then that's his harness that we put on him. Ed's bag hangs here so he can just reach around his seat and grab his wallet out of that. Here we have our refrigerator. We have our toilet right here. Behind the toilet is the necessary things you need to go to the back. This is Ed's section for getting ready of a morning. He has electric razor in there, his toothbrush, baby wipes, things like that. And then we have our kitchen area, uh, extra cups, uh, cooking oil, our pancake mix, things like that. Down here is our um, stuff for coffee, tea, uh, this is amazing. Ed bought me this because I like hot tea, as some of you know. And this little gadget here is just amazing. Look at that. You plug it in, good to go. So anyway, that is one of my favorite little things that Mr. Ferguson has bought me. And see, it just folds right up. Get down there. Of course, you know it's not going to work on camera. And then you just put it in his little bag. And he goes right there. This is our, our shopping bags that we use for trash bag. Here's our Frigidaire ice maker. And that is wonderful because going down the road, like right now, we are making ice for our cups. Going down the road, I just climb back here, get us some ice, fix our drinks. We have a microwave. And then it just, I flip a switch down here and we can use the microwave. Um, Ed has his camera equipment here. These are our snacks. And then this tub under here and the tub under there is what we call our pantry. We have our food in there. So anyway, that's it. And I'll tell you what, we are just as snug as a bug in a rug in here. Oh, Ed's clothes we keep over here. And in here, you guys, look, our down jackets. Cause we're gonna need this when we get to Alaska. And we didn't want them just like floating around and getting in our way. So we stuck them in a pillowcase and zip it up. And there you go. We have our down jackets with us. Okay, so I'll talk about some of the mechanical stuff in the van itself. We use this really as our support vehicle for everything. We can drop the trailer someplace and we can go out exploring this van. This van has everything we need. We don't really need anything outside this. We could go for weeks actually with no problems. So uh, in the van itself, I have a five gallon water storage tank. Let me show you that. That uh, I have, just have a hose. It's actually very simple. So behind this driver's seat is a five gallon water storage tank that just works off of gravity. And uh, we fill that up every once in a while and we have plenty of water. We also have between the seat here where Herky's sitting is a box that's called a rinse kit and there's a pressurized tank in there and I'll show you that we have this system here that um, we have a shower and we can rinse use that to rinse our feet off we can also take a shower with that although we don't use it that often we mainly use it to rinse Herky off and to rinse our feet off as you walk in the door here, we have the controls for all the electrical system, the lighting in the van. So uh, we have light switches for LED lighting. We have our charge indicator here. You can see I'm collecting some solar. I'm down about 52% right now. So uh, it's been running all night, so that's why. Um, we have uh, lights for the exterior of the van. So I have, I don't know if you can see here, 
we have lights all the way around the van uh, to light us up at nighttime. We also have, I built a closet in the van that just stores some of our gear. We got a vacuum sweeper, lawn chairs, and such as that. So that works pretty good. Um, we we'll just throw that bungee on So back on here, it's a little bit of a rat's nest, but trust me, it's uh, organized and uh, it works well. Um, we have a main power s switch for our heater. I'll show you that uh, a little later on. We had a, have a charge controller for the solar and a DC to DC charger uh, that comes off the alternator of the van to charge our batteries. We have 250 amp hours of AGM batteries. Uh, I can't show you those batteries because they're buried uh, in the build behind the bookcase. If I was to remove those, I have to take the bookcase off. But um, anyway, we have a WeBoost cell phone uh, booster that helps us. Nancy indicated that before. It helps us in those areas where uh, the cell phone is a little spotty. But that's it. Uh, let me show you this heater system. So back here, uh, we have a generator. Uh, I have a 2,000 watt uh, inverter generator. It's a win generator. It um, Honestly, we don't use it that much. Uh, occasionally, uh, if it's really hot, we want to use air conditioning. We can do that, but um, we honestly don't need it that often. Uh, one of the things everybody's always curious about is this diesel heater. So this is a Chinese diesel heater. It runs off of diesel. Uh, the tank for that is mounted to the back of this door, although Eventually, I want to mount a, a bigger tank underneath the van, but um, Chinese diesel heater, it will run you out of the van and the camper. We run it on very low. We have camped minus 14 degrees uh, Fahrenheit and kept kept very warm with the with the heater. So this is distribution box here. And when you actually when you close the door, this hose goes into the distribution box and I have a connector here. And a connector here on the on the camper and I have a hose that can go in between the two of them so what happens is is that allows us to heat the van even when we're traveling down the road show you the top really quick we have a max air fan that works really well especially if it's raining we can raise that up and uh, turn the fan on and it pulls air through without getting the van wet also for those quick times we have to leave Herky to run in a place I can turn on the fan and uh, he stays nice and cool. You can see that we have a WeBoost uh, cell phone antenna there and our solar panels. Uh, the light, the rack I built myself, uh, there's actually a video on that uh, on our channel, but I uh, built that out of maker pipe connectors and EMT conduit. Uh, can't recommend that en enough. Uh, good for building camping projects so anyway that is the top of the van okay that's the ferguson's in a nutshell i hope you enjoyed it we enjoyed key west for sure hey stick around for our rest of our journey as we go to the arctic circle now we're not taking a direct route we're going to ramble around <laughs> a little bit so why are we ever you might be confused a little bit but hang in with us we, we are, are going to there. we are going to the arctic circle by way of key west arizona Costa Rica, Indiana, Ohio, then the Arctic Circle. So hang in with us on our series. It's going to take us a little bit. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.